I will show you top 5 projects that you can build in Azure and later include them on your CV to help you get your very first job in cloud computing. Starting with the project number one, build a chatbot with OpenAI. AI is a hot topic in today's age and it's expected that artificial intelligence will replace a lot of jobs. So building something or I should say learning artificial intelligence at the chatbot could be very beneficial to you as you progress in your career. And the best thing, it's not that complicated really. All you need is an Azure subscription, Visual Studio Code, where you will write your application and some basic understanding of C Sharp and .NET. And if you follow this guide, you should have a chatbot, working chatbot with OpenAI in just a couple of minutes or an hour, let's say. After that, it's all about you, what you decide to do with such chatbot. I would advise, try to make it practical. Maybe find someone in your close family or some friends that have business and you could solve some problem with this application. For example, you could implement it on a website and try to improve the sales for the company. That would be a huge project that you could also present on your CV. At the beginning, it could be a simple application running in Azure but you could make much more complex architecture designs with this. So if I move here on the Microsoft side, there are baseline OpenAI end-to-end -end chatbot architecture design. And I believe there is an image which shows you all the services that you could use inside your project. So we have Microsoft Enter ID, which will hold the identity or the users that will log in to this application. You have storage, you have Azure Key Vault, you have some private endpoints and many, many more services. I have personally built an OpenAI service inside Azure and use it in my work. So I would highly recommend you to check this out and figure out how OpenAI could help you in your daily work. Another project idea that you could potentially build is hub and spoke network topology. And that's not only for Azure, but also AWS or GCP or any cloud provider, really. The best thing about this project is that many people start with a networking background. I did, for example, and I could use those skills, that knowledge and transition it into the cloud. It doesn't have to be even that complicated as we have here. You don't have to build virtual machines. You don't need to have Azure monitor inside. You can just build the subnets, the virtual machines, maybe firewall, and you have something to show. Of course, if you want to go deeper, I would go with Azure Landing Zone. Azure Landing Zone is basically an environment which is built before any workload goes into the cloud. It allows you to build a strong foundation and on top of that, you will build your resources. The architecture design of such project would be much more complex. You would have to understand a lot when it comes to cloud, especially the identities, the cost management, the monitoring, networking. There is a lot to learn. And if you want to take it one step further, you could create everything from a code, which would be my next idea for a project. Do something with DevOps. With this project, you will learn infrastructure as a code, which is very crucial for many companies, especially the large ones. You are not going to go into the portal and create 100 or 1000 VMs manually. That would take a lot of time. That's why you are defining the infrastructure in a code, which you can post into the repository and from the repository, it will get deployed. This is CI CD. And you could also take it one step further and deploy an application, for example. It could be with Docker and it could look like something like this. There are also other architectures, if I scroll down, which are more complex, which could have other services inside. It's up to you. But infrastructure as a code is very important if you want to work in cloud computing. Which brings me to the next project idea. Well, it's not really my idea. Someone already created it and I use it in the past as well. 
and that's Cloud Resume Challenge. The end goal is to build a website where you can present what you learned and everything on that website will be powered by the cloud. You can integrate it with the database, API, Python, you can use the DevOps and infrastructure as a code. And at the end, you will have your very own website where you can present everything. And as I said, I went through the process as well. This was my website. It's not longer available, but I use the same concept from the, from the project idea. And honestly, it helped me to get the first job in the cloud computing. Before that, I had zero exposure to the cloud platform. And after I built this project, I got notice on LinkedIn and it helped me to get first job in cloud computing. The very last project that I want to mention, and it can be integrated with everything we have talked about so far, is monitoring. You could do something simple, such as alerting if you start spending too much money on your environment. But if you want to take it one step further, I would implement Microsoft Sentinel. My background is in security, and Microsoft Sentinel allows you to detect any threat that you might be facing. You can ingest logs, and then evaluate them based on different criteria. It's basically one step further from Azure Monitor. And the project ideas are endless when it comes to security and Microsoft Sentinel. And if you want to know more about Microsoft Sentinel and how to build your very own free lab, check out my other videos on YouTube where I cover it step by step. I hope this was informational to you. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more content in the future.